This is Wild Chronicles. I'm Boyd Matson. There are only three sharks that regularly attack humans. The massive great white. The swift sleek tiger. And the often ignored but dangerous bull shark. Mike Heithouse from Florida International University studies the bull. Probably get the name bull shark because they're so big and stocky. I kind of think of them more as the pit bull of the seas. It's a fitting description. Bull sharks can be tenacious and aggressive. They're not as large as the great white, but female bulls can grow to over 11 feet and weigh up to 500 pounds. They also have one very unique characteristic. One of the most amazing things about these bull sharks is that they go from marine to fresh water with no problems. Bulls have been found thousands of miles upstream in both the Mississippi and Amazon rivers. Bull sharks hunt in the same shallow coastal waters where unsuspecting beachgoers frolic in the summer. They are also opportunistic hunters. They will eat just about anything. Mike wants to know more about bull sharks and their feeding habits. So he's going to deploy satellite tags with the critter cam units. Day one, time to go. Okay, we're ready. The team heads out the next day about six miles offshore at a shallow reef where the sharks usually hang out. Mike's wife, Linda, is a biologist as well. But today, she's doing double duty as a butcher. This is actually one of my favorite jobs. I don't mind getting dirty and bloody. One's ready. After about two hours, the team is rewarded with a big bull on the line. There's our shark. Nice bull. Nice. That's exactly what we need. But a nine foot bull shark, fully grown, about 400 pounds. They don't get much bigger than this. The satellite tag comes first, attached through the dorsal fin. Oh, we got something, I think. Probably a bull. Next comes the critter cam. A smaller bull gets this unique camera. Now the team waits and hopes the camera will give them something special. Hey, Linda, hear anything? Yeah, it's up. OK, let's go get it. What, give me a direction. 3 o'clock. Let's motor. Critter cam has disengaged. Right there in that direction. I see something. team picks up the camera, then settles in to see what they've got. What they see is behavior that's consistent with what they know about bull sharks. They love shallow water. And there's lots of deep water out there, but he's never gone into that deep water. They also discover that bulls hunt a lot like their swifter cousins, the tiger shark. Hey, you just turned up to the surface. He's checking out that piece of floating vegetation. Lots of sharks do use silhouettes to, to find prey or they'll scavenge things at the surface. So he may just be checking that out, just see something up there and wants to go see if it's food. 
Critter Cam also reveals at least one other bull in the region, which raises the intriguing possibility that these sharks may be interacting. It also suggests the bull shark may be a keystone species, which means they may be a critical influence on the structure of the ecosystem. Satellite data also confirmed that the bulls stay put, never venturing far from where the team caught them. That's more proof that these animals may be an important part of the coastal environment. But in regards to sharks and us, it shows that bulls do like to hunt in the same shallow waters where we flock every summer. Ultimately though, when considering shark behavior, it's important to remember you are more likely to get struck by lightning than bit by a shark. Check for Wild Chronicles on your local PBS station. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs. Taking science and exploration into the new millennium. For the best subscription offers to any National Geographic magazine, log on to nationalgeographic.com slash magazines.